Hey guys, it's Joanne. How is everyone? It's Memorial Day weekend. Um, I just, this video is a little, um, out of the ordinary for what I normally do. Uh, but I did just finish watching season two of 13 Reasons Why. And I think it was 13 Reasons Why, uh, actually I forget. Um, so this show really, really like disturbs me in maybe a good way. I don't know. The first season I watched and, uh, I don't know. The first season I thought kind of, and I'm sorry if I offend anybody or, um, I kind of felt the first season kind of glorified suicide. It was really like hard for me to watch. Um, I have teenage children. I have a 14 year old and an 18 year old. And I mean, me as a mom, I'm always asking them, is everything okay? How's school? Is anyone picking on you? You know, like I'm always like asking, I don't know if they'll tell me the truth. You know, they probably won't. Um, but I ch do try to be active in that part of of their life and at least if I put it out there then maybe they'll tell me if something's going on um, so season one you know I know it got a lot of um, criticism and and to be honest uh, we did have a suicide in our not our immediate family but somebody that really affected us very um, very much and I don't know how I feel about that you know like I was mad because you know it affected somebody more than me and you know that person felt they could do so much more and if only I had done this and I had done that and to me um, it makes me angry like that person that that does that act um, should they have talked to somebody? Should they have, I don't know. I don't know, I don't wanna to say too much because I don't wanna offend people and I don't want to, uh, I don't know, come off sounding wrong. But I think, well, I'm gonna tell you what I thought then. I think that it's like people are angry when, when that happens. People are angry that it affects because they didn't know and they feel they can do something. Then I watched this show, 13 Reasons Why, and I watched it <clears throat> last year. And at that point, you know, my kids were 13 and 17. Um, I know my 13 year old didn't watch it. I know my 17 year old did. And I, like I said earlier, I felt it glorified it. I don't know if that's the right term, but I don't know. The first season, I got a really bad taste in my mouth from it. So, <clears throat> season two just came out, and I just finished tonight watching that. Um, I just finished it tonight, and I don't really want to put any spoilers out there for anyone who didn't watch it yet, because I think it just came out, and I kind of watched it really quickly. Um, I think season two of affected me a lot because of all the bullying and all the stuff that goes on in the schools. And I mean, I guess his parents were naive to think that, no, this isn't going on in our school and not with our kids, but you know, it may very well be and we just don't know it, uh, which is really sad. Uh, so I watched the whole season. I think I watched like th the last three episodes just today. And episode 12 really, really disturbed me. Um, and then, you know, the final episode as well. But um, I don't know, guys. I, if any of you watched it, um, I would love to chat with anybody about it without leaving too much on this video. And I know even in the comments, you know, everybody can see the comments. So if you want to email me, that's fine. My email is in my about section on YouTube. 
Um, but um, I guess I just want to say generally that season two kind of left me, I guess, feeling like, I don't know, you watch everything and, and I kind of can see how things lead up to what they lead up to. Um, especially what led up to um, in the last episode. Uh, I definitely see that it can go to a season three and Netflix I think is doing a really good job. This year there's <clears throat> a lot of when the show comes on or when the show is over you know there's a lot of reach out if anyone's having problems numbers to call and this and that which I think is very important um, because I would hope that our kids don't watch it and get ideas from this show. Um, but I just think as parents, we really need to be proactive and talk to our kids and ask our kids, you know, if everything's okay. And like I said, they're not going to tell us everything and we know they're not, but, um, maybe changes in their, their behavior. That might be a, you know, something to, to focus on if that happens. Um, I don't want this to be like a downer video. But, I don't know, this, this show just really, this series just really, it affected me a lot. And as I'm watching it, um, I swear I go, I go to bed at night and my mind is just going like 100 miles an hour with thoughts. And I think this stuff really does go on in schools and with the kids. And, I mean, I have to be honest with you, if, if I found out that this was going on and my... My, well, my daughter's out of school now, so, but my son, he's now 14 and is going into high school next year. I think if, if I knew any of this was happening or my first reaction would be to pull him out of the school and I don't know, I would homeschool him if I had to. But again, a lot of parents don't even know what's going on. The kids don't tell us everything and, you know, asking them... Even even now, like if I ask Kyle anything, how like is anything going on in school? How school or you know or are there kids picking on you and this and that? And you know he just right away goes on the offensive. But I think it's just because he's fourteen and God forbid, mommy ask him anything that's going on. But uh, so guys, I don't know if you have a lot of thoughts um, from this series. Please reach out to me and email. I will definitely chat with you and, you know, tell you my thoughts. And it just, it's a show that really bothered me. But I also think it's a show that needs to be out there. But I don't think it's a show that our young teenagers should be watching. I really don't. Um, Netflix sometimes really... Um, I guess cross, I don't want to say crosses the line, but they, they hold nothing back sometimes in their shows. And it's not the, just this show. I watch a lot of shows on Netflix and, you know, a lot of them are hard. I guess this one affects me the most because I have kids that age and, um, you know, I have kids that have gone through high school. Kyle's the last one to, he's going into high school um, next year and my other two are out of high school but it's something I've always always I think like ask them are you okay is anything going on do you, you know and I just I try and keep that communication open and I honestly think that's the a very important thing for parents to do not that they're gonna give us the answers and not that we can help anything if they don't but please um, definitely just ask them ask them try and start a conversation I mean they're teenagers they don't want to talk to us they you know we're boring and you know we annoy them and this and that and I know that and I'm sure it's with most teenagers so um I don't know it's kind of like what is it like a my public public uh statement I don't know I'm sorry guys um I have a ton more videos to do tonight and this is going to be the only one that's not upbeat but this one is probably the most important 
for um, parents out there and you know if teenagers teenagers if you guys watch just know there's always another answer always um, there's always somebody out there to help you and even if you if it's not your parents it's somebody somebody at the school or maybe um, your friends parents maybe you can feel you can talk to them because for some reason I don't think kids feel they can talk to their parents as openly as they can to um, you know other people in their life maybe even complete strangers they can probably talk to complete strangers more openly than they could to their parents so um, again if anyone has any um, anything they want to talk about for the last season, the second season of 13 Reasons Why, um, please email me. I will be happy to chat with you. All right. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.